everyone, Belinda here from Horror Tree back again with another dose of my Horror Tree weekly wrap up. And today I'll be talking about four submission calls that are currently up on the Horror Tree website. And today I've got a bit of a mixed bag for you guys. So hopefully there's something in there with your name written all over it. Okay, first up is Metastellar Speculative Fiction and Beyond. Now these guys have two cycles for pay submission calls each year. And the theme for this is horror, fantasy, and science fiction. Now, I couldn't seem to find a word count for the submissions, um, so please do correct me if I'm wrong, but the website does strongly suggest that you subscribe to their newsletter or their Twitter or social media to find out more about their submission calls. Payment is eight cents per word, and the submission window opens on the 1st of March and closes on the 31st of March. Okay, next up is Tales to Terrify, Flash Fiction Contest, Changing Seasons. So the theme for this one is the story must have horror elements and relate to the theme of changing seasons. How you choose to interpret that theme is up to you, but it must be central to your story. Simply setting your tale during a change in seasons or having a tale take place across seasons is not adequate. It must play a crucial role in the development of the narrative. They are after stories of up to 1,500 words. The top flash piece, sorry, payment slash prize, the top flash piece will be produced for audio narration and the author will also receive 50 US dollars. The submissions close on the 1st of April. Okay, next up is Bean Fantasy Awards 2023. Now, the theme for this is fantasy. And though all fantasy genres are open, such as epic fantasy, hero heroic fantasy, sword and sorcery, contemporary fantasy, etc., they want to see adventure fantasy with heroes you want to root for, and with warriors either modern or medieval. There's no entry fee, but only one submission per person and no reprints for this one. They are after short stories of no more than 8,000 words. Now the prizes, there are too many for me to list here, but I can say there is a trophy involved and cash prizes. Um, and the submissions close, sorry, the contest closes on the 30th of April. I strongly suggest you get on the website, guys, check out exactly what they're after and check out the amazing prize pool. It's great. Okay, and next up, last but not least, is Tundra Swan Press, The Haunted Zone. So this is going to be a horror anthology written by women military veterans. So the theme for this is hauntings slash to be haunted slash to haunt. They're not looking for service related stories, only that haunt that hauntings or haunting be central to the theme. Hauntings of a classic horror nature, as well as other types such as psychological, haunted by trauma, life choices, and similar that take the reader into a dark horror tale are most welcome. The goal is to highlight excellent talent from women military veterans who are horror writers, not for stories to be focused on the military, although you may include the military in your story if you wish. They are after stories of between 2,000 to 4,000 words, poetry of up to 60 lines, and so simultaneous subs are okay for this one, and you can submit up to two pieces. No reprints for this one. Payment is 0 0.03 cents per word plus a contributor's copy and the submissions close on the 30th of April. And there we have it. Another awesome week of amazing contests and submission calls. So hopefully there's something there that, that grabbed you. And if you do need any more information, please jump on the Horror Tree website, get on there, check it out. All the information you need is up there. And if you are going to submit, good luck. All the best to you. And if you are watching these videos, please, we would love some feedback. We would love for you to hit like, hit comment, hit subscribe. Send us an email. Let us know what you think. Give us some, some feedback. We would love to hear from you. And until next time, guys, as always, thank you for watching and stay safe, stay cool, and stay spooky. See you later.